All right, hey, what's up, everybody? I just wanted to come on here and offer some reassurance and to give a little more clarity as to some things that I've stated in the past and others who have who had put out what they call prophecies or readings or whatever as it relates to the election because I'm feeling and so many people are writing me um, who are very concerned, afraid. I said it months ago. Actually, I've been saying it for years, but I, I was emphasizing months ago that it is time that we get into our God mind. Not what we see, not what we hear um, being fed from the mainstream media. I don't call myself a prophet. I call myself an intuitive seer. I'm an intuitive seer. When I bring forth my readings or my revelations, most of the time, it is me using the mind power and the gift that I was born with. And there are different ways I can come to a conclusion or decipher an equation. Now, just because someone may be off or they may misspeak or miscalculate does not mean that they are wrong in the gist of what they are conveying. Because now I'm seeing all of these videos popping up and accusing others of being false prophets because things did not play out to a science in the way that the people had originally stated. And I'm telling you, you can go back and read what I've written in my blog, you can look at my videos, and I'm looking right at you. I'm not backing down, I'm not apologizing for nothing because I am 100% have no doubt that what I put out and what many others have said is true. If reality is far more fluid than meets the eye. We shape reality and outcome based on what the general consensus, the collective thought of the people. Collectively in this reality, we are creating our reality. Here's why those who know this and understand this want to manipulate and control the mind of the masses to get us to unconsciously consent to a reality that they either suggest or plant in our minds to begin with or that they frighten or manipulate us or use some kind of carrot or some kind of incentive into co-creating. So that means that essentially there are infinite potential, right? And just like a mathematician, you have some mathematicians who are more advanced and more skilled than others, but if a particular mathematician come up with a, a very, very um, advanced equation and they miscalculate, does that mean that they are now no longer a, a mathematician, even though they have a history of getting calculations to almost to a science, but if they miscalculate one time, does that mean they're no longer a, a mathematician? No, miscalculations happen all the time. But here's what I need you guys to really get, is that the majority of those who are being called false prophets and false this or false that, what they make the mistake in doing is trying to pinpoint a specific date and time into which something is supposed to happen. When I give my general reading, I do it more in a cryptic way and I leave it open so that no one can hold me to a specific time and date. Because remember, time is a creation of man. When you're in your God mind and when you have other uh, otherworldly forces involved, they're not operating in accordance to that. So there are many potentials and trajectories that can play out. But here's what I need you guys to understand the general consensus is that DT legally rightfully won this election and the truth of that will come out and they will be vindicated this person is ordained and was chosen to further a job and for that reason they will get back and do what it is that they were chosen to do however as I've said before, there are certain things that must play out and there is a lesson involved for all. All right, there's a lesson there for all. I'm not gonna tell you when it's gonna happen specifically and I'm not gonna tell you how it's 
going to happen specifically, but it is destiny. It is going to happen. And so again, to the brothers and sisters out there who predicted that uh, the rightful person would be in there, meaning the one who would legally vote it for will be in there, you are not wrong. You made the mistake in trying to explain the specifics and how this is going to play out. Even though I have a read on how it's likely to play out right now, trajectories can change at any moment because we do a read based on what the most likely trajectory is from that moment. But due to so many moving parts, we're at war. We're in war. And on top of this being multi-dimensional chess, no one is going to pinpoint every single angle in detail. And that is actually a good thing. Again, I don't care what it looks like now, and I am 100% confident the prophets who pretty much say the same thing, again, everyone is not accurate in terms of when it's going to happen or how it's going to happen, but they are correct in that what has happened in terms of the fraud is very real and the vindication and the rightful person who is to be in office will be there sooner or later. So. That's pretty much what I want to share with you guys. Uh, my sis wanted to, you know, say hi to everybody real quick. Come in, just wave, say hi. Hi, family. No matter what, hold your ground. Stand your ground. You hold are more ground. powerful than you know. Right. Hold your ground. Absolutely. If you don't hold your ground, your energy diminishing, going yeah. down. Your energy is diminishing, it's going down. So you aiding on the dark side, so they say. I don't get caught up in that. But you need to hold your ground. And here's to a cup of water, sweet tea. <laughs> yeah. Hold your ground. A brighter tomorrow is coming. It is. A brighter tomorrow is coming. Hold your ground. And I love you all dearly. Right, Peace. Right. And Absolutely. I'm out. A Absolutely. cup of water. The promise I told you guys a long time ago. There's a promise that was given and it will be fulfilled. Know that. And it doesn't matter what people around you are saying. You will see. They too will see. And even then, they may not be able to receive. But so what? The point is, you are on the right side of history. That's right. And do not be fearful and trust the process.